Number 5. India's fleet of Su-30MKI fighter jets will be undergoing the Super Sukhoi upgrade program. The Indian Air Force has almost 270 Sukhoi 30 MKIs, and all of them will be upgraded to the near 5th generation level. The Indian Air Force has decided to name them as Super Sukhoi. The estimated cost of the program is 7 to 8 billion dollars. Under the upgrade program Indian Air Force Su-30 MKI will be upgraded to Su-35 Plus standards, which will outmatch Su-35 currently operated by Chinese Air Force in certain aspects. China has purchased 24 Su-35 from Russia. Though most of the information is classified and still undergoing discussion, here are three proposed areas of upgrades. Number 4 Currently Su-30 MKI uses Russian Nippon 011 mechanical Iskander A radar. The range of this radar against a typical fighter-sized target is 140 km head-on, and 65 km tail-on. The Super Sukhois will be kitted with Russian Fazatron's AKE active electronically Iskander A radar. The X-band radar can track 30 aerial targets in the scan mode and engage six targets simultaneously in attack mode. Acer technology offers improved performance and reliability compared with traditional mechanical Iskander A radars. For fighter-sized targets, it will have a range of about 300 km compared to 140 km of earlier radar. During MMRC trials which Rafael won ultimately, the Zakei Acer radar demonstrated significant capabilities, including ground mapping modes and the ability to detect and track aerial targets. Number 3 United Engine Corporation CEO Alexander Artyuhov said that Russian Sukhoi Su-30 MKI operated by the Indian Air Force after modernization will get the AL-41F turbofan engines. This engine is designed for 4 plus generation aircraft and is currently being installed on the Su-35 fighters. He added that the engine is significantly superior to its predecessors. The engine is more reliable and will provide better thrust, result in increased maneuverability of the Su-30 MKI. Number 2 Super Sukhoi will have improved airframe with 6000 flying hours, same as Su-35. Also there will be some tweaks in the airframes to reduce the radar cross-section, making the aircraft more stealthy and harder to detect by enemy. Su-30 MKI has many Israeli modules and better avionics, which make it more deadly than the original Su-30. It will be same in case with Super Sukhoi. This will include mainly the following, 1. Fly-by-wire capability. Fly-by-wire is a system that replaces the conventional manual flight controls of an aircraft with an electronic interface making them easier to operate. 2. Israeli Elbitsu 967 head-up display along with bicubic phase conjugated holographic displays, and 7 liquid crystal multifunction displays. 3. Modern digital weapons control system as well as more advanced anti-jamming features. 4. Israeli-made lightning targeting pod which mounts externally. The targeting pod contains a high-resolution, forward-looking infrared sensor that displays an infrared image of the target to the aircrew, it has a wide field of view search capability, and a narrow field of view targeting capability of battlefield-sized targets. This makes it easier for the aircrew to detect and aim a target. 5. Integration with BrahMos supersonic cruise missile, indigenous beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile Astra and French Meteor missile, enabling Su-30 MKI to have more offensive punch compared to the Chinese Su-35. To know about BrahMos, Astra and Meteor, check videos on cards above. Number 1 The first of Su-30 MKI built to the current specification were delivered to India back in 2004. Since then, 
a lot of new technology has become available in Russia, India, and other markets, including advanced new radars, air-launched missiles and bombs. Retrofitting the plane with this new hardware can make it much more capable. In fact, the Su-30 platform itself is extremely well suited for all kinds of upgrades, from fairly conservative to the most radical. This is because the plane has a two-seater cockpit, and its large size can accommodate a lot of bulky and heavy additional equipments. There is a pressing need for speeding up the Super Sukhoi upgrade program in order to restore the Indian Air Force's technological parity with the Chinese. Indian customized Sukhois were ahead of the original Su-30 bought by China. Chinese have registered complaints with Russia on this before. Essentially, India needs to pull off the same trick it did in the mid-1990s, when it responded to China's mass procurement of Su-27 and Su-30 fighters with the Su-30 MKI program. Two decades on, India needs to respond to China's Su-35 and J-31 jets with the Super Sukhoi. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. Kindly provide your feedback in the comment section, this will help us improve.